We're going to look at some things to keep in mind when you're solving trigonometric equations. Just to remind you that identities are true for all angle measurements. However, equations are only true for certain angle measures. Also, because the trig functions are periodic, which means that they repeat over and over and over again, that means an equation that has a solution is actually going to have infinitely many solutions every time um, there's a cycle. So in order for us to not have to write infinite many solutions, we usually pick an interval that we want our solutions to be within. So we, we usually look at between 0 and 2 pi as the interval. So for example, um, if I'm trying to solve for x here and I have cosine of x equals 1 half, which means I'm looking for a cosine inverse um, of 1 half. So if I'm looking at the interval 0 to 2 pi, there are only two solutions that give me 1 half. They would be pi over 3 and 5 pi over 3. Um, and so we can use graphs or we can use the unit circle um, to see all the so possible solutions.